Sells out of a nuisance lawsuit. They they agreed to get to settle a nuisance lawsuit that never should have been brought. So you think it's fine that someone there's a travesty of justice. You think it's fine that someone who who tried to overturn a legitimate election is still on a Democrat board electors have certifies. done that repeatedly. Democrats have done Which Democrats one? have done the same thing. In, Republicans in Wisconsin, have never tried there's to criminalize been it. fake slates of electors. No, it's, it's happened in different states. I, Which I, I didn't come sir? prepared to give you the exact states, but it's happened. It's happened repeatedly. It has happened repeatedly. Just go check the books. Which books? I mean, th there have been alternate slates of electors by Democrat uh, electors in our history. Again, I, you didn't. This wasn't what this interview is going to be about. I'll, I'll come and I'll provide you the information. But I'm okay, absolutely certain about that. I look forward to. That. I look forward to your office sending that information. We'll publish it if it's, if we'll it's accurate. That. Despite following the lead of Ted Cruz, Ron Johnson's attempt to hide behind his new beard didn't distract Kit and Collins from asking him the toughest follow-up questions like, uh, which states, bro? Oh, what books? This is all regarding his claim that Trump's fake elector scheme is something that Democrats just do repeatedly. Don't forget, though, Ron Johnson isn't only trying and failing to cover Trump's ass, but his own, too. Remember what the January 6th committee revealed about Senator Johnson's involvement? Documents produced to the select committee show that the Trump campaign took steps to ensure that the physical copies of the fake electors' electoral votes from two states were delivered to Washington for January 6th. Text messages exchanged between Republican Party officials in Wisconsin show that on January 4th, the Trump campaign asked for someone to fly their fake electors' documents to Washington. A staffer for Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson texted a staffer for Vice President Pence just minutes before the beginning of the joint session. This staffer stated that Senator Johnson wished to hand deliver to the Vice President the fake electors' votes from Michigan and Wisconsin. The Vice President's aide unambiguously instructed them not to deliver the fake votes to the Vice President. It's damning. A staffer for Ron Johnson tried to follow through with orders from Trump's people to have the Senator hand deliver the fake electors, but Pence's people rejected it. And when that all broke, Johnson had as many good answers for it as he did when Caitlin Collins asked him all those follow-up questions on CNN. Did you support the, his efforts to try to get those slates to the vice president? No, I, I had no knowledge of this. Who was, who was the person I, that I delivered? No, I, you know, I, I had no involvement in an ultimate state of, uh, slate of electors. I had no idea this thing would be delivered to us. Got delivered staff to staff. My chief staff did the right thing. Contact the vice president's staff. Uh, they said didn't want it, so we didn't deliver it. Who's the person? Again, that's the end of story. Did Who's you, the person that delivered it to your I, office? I have no idea. So did you not know what, what was being talked about in terms of like what this document was? I was aware that we got this package and that the, somebody wanted us to deliver it as vice president. We reached out. They didn't want it. We didn't deliver it. So when you were aware of it on January 6th that morning when your chief of staff texted? The, pres the vice president's office? I was aware that we got something delivered that wanted to be delivered to the vice president. And Again, you I mean, guys, this this took place in, I don't know, spanned a few minutes, and mm -hmm. the story ended. There's, there's nothing to this. There's no story here, guys. There's no story here, guys. My accomplice just went into the bank, tried to rob it, and before he could get his hands on the money, the other accomplice got scared and bailed, so they both ran out with no money. Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. Ron Johnson actually went back on TV and tried to pass the buck on this fake elector scheme that he was shown to be caught up in. He really thought no one would remember after a year passed that he was scrambling to avoid reporters' questions about he and his staff's direct involvement in attempting to overturn the election. But when the evidence was revealed, he was desperate to get away from as many cameras as possible with this clownish fake out that didn't work either. How much did you know about what your chief of staff was doing with the alternate slates of electors? No, you're not. I can see your phone. I can see your screen. Can you explain what your chief of staff was doing? Does your chief of staff still work for you, Senator? Can you explain what happened there? Why was your chief of staff even offering this to the vice president? That's a complete non-story. We issued a statement. And this is a non-story. I, I don't know what you're, what you're even concerned about. Well, this 